Hi, I'm Marlana, and today we're trying to get a grip on fine motor control. Fine motor control is the coordination of the muscles and the bones and the nerves that are needed to make small and precise movements like you would do when you pick up a small object with your forefinger and your thumb. See? Now, in order to have fine motor control, your child needs to also have awareness and the ability to plan and coordinate. They need muscle strength in their little fingers and hands, and they need normal sensation. The ability to feel and touch normally, or the ability to see clearly. So, if you should ever have concerns about your child's health or development, please consult your pediatrician right away because the first three years are so very important and addressing issues as soon as possible is one of the most loving things that you can do for your child. Now, with expected development, your 24 to 36 month old should begin to fold paper. And pressing down that crease is really important. They should be holding a pencil or a crayon between their finger and their thumb and using it to draw straight lines up and down or across and also curvy lines and circle shapes. They should be learning to turn the pages of a book. Can you see how I have to have fine motor control to turn the pages of a book? They should begin to tear paper using opposing um, directions when they tear or eat, or to make small snips with a piece of a pair of scissors. They should also begin to use a fork as well as that spoon they've been using since they were very small. Wow, it's a lot. But remember, these skills will develop naturally over time as your child is making observations and having experiences and playing. You can encourage their learning by providing different kinds of experiences, age-appropriate toys, which doesn't mean that you have to buy out the toy store, and also giving them the freedom to experiment and explore in safe environments and lots of loving encouragement. Remember, things that are second nature to you and I that we don't even think about are still new to them, they're still learning them. So they'll, they may need to try and fail and try again as they fine tune these necessary skills. So that also means that patience, understanding and encouragement are three very important tools in your parenting toolbox. Um, I'm gonna show you two more tools before I go and one of them is a simple clothespin. If you watch, I have to have pretty good strength as I squeeze to open this clothespin with my fingers. And then I also have to know where I want to take it and plan to land there and then know when to let go so that I can pick up an item with it. Another wonderful tool to use with your, with your two-year-old is Play-Doh. And they can use their little hands to roll out ball shapes or snake shapes. And then you might want to show them how to pinch off little pieces of Play-Doh that they can then use that little index finger to squish flat, building strength in that finger as they go. You can make it fun by adding sound effects. Fine motor skills are so important. So from stacking blocks and squishing Play-Doh to getting dressed and then to doing things like chopping vegetables for dinner and eventually computer keyboarding or playing a piano or a guitar or crocheting. All of these things take fine motor control. But your little ones are still learning these things. So have fun helping them perfect those oh so incredible fine motor control skills. Thanks for watching.